Hello everyone, I am Peaceful Nick the Medium and I am an evidential medium specializing in healing messages and today I'm going to go live with medium Kathy Behrens and she will be join, joining me in a few moments and um, we are here to answer questions about mediumship, talk about our offerings as far as readings and future um, lives that we're going to do together and so as soon as everybody joins us we will get started hi Ashton it's nice to see you here and someone else has joined so I'm peaceful Nick the medium I see people joining hi sour patch hi Amali Let's see, Nikki, Sour Patch, CC, hello, hello everyone, Mary Vega, Fallon, I'm Peaceful Nick the Medium, and I'm going to be going live with um, Kathy Behrens, we are both evidential mediums, she actually specializes in, um, not only does she do mediumship for your loved ones that have passed, she also does mediumship uh, she specializes in pet readings, and she's very, very good at it. So, as soon as she joins, I'll get her on here. Let's click some likes. Hello, Amy Oliver. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Andrea. Let's see. Hello, hello. So, if you have any questions about mediumship, um, just put them in the chat and let me know. All right, let's see. Hi, can you hear me? Hear you. Um, I just, I'm not sure how you turn your camera on on your end. Um, hold on. Oh. It's always looks, it looks different today than it did the other day. So there, let's see. I made you the bigger person on the screen. Now, I don't know if you'll see people. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I can only connect using audio. Really? Yeah, because I don't have a thousand followers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Everybody follow Kathy. We got to get her to a thousand. Well, your picture's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know how it looks on your end. Um, Is it like, can you see your own? Well, I'm just like a giant <laughs> picture of yourself. Oh, hi. Yeah. thank you for the heart hands. And then oh, on the right hand side for me, you're in the top corner in a tiny little box. Okay, so that's how I have it on my screen, just because I thought you were going to be able to. Now let's see if it changes. There, yeah, that's better. Now I'm just a little box on the box. Well, I mean, I kind of wanted you to be in the big box. actually. <laughs> so when you get a thousand, we can go side by side. Hey. And this must be the thing you were talking about that day um, when you said, but I didn't have the update yet, I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That's what um, one of our followers told us, Trent. The, oh, she that's right. That. She's like, how come this person only has 500 followers and their life? Yeah, so. it was weird. But you know, the updates, they only roll them out to so many people at a time, weirdly. Right. So, um, can you see any of the comments? Hello, Annie. Um, yes, Rebecca. Okay, awesome. Hi, how was your day? Okay, perfect. I didn't know if you could see the comments or not. So hopefully uh, you can see, like if we do readings and stuff, you can see all the comments. Yes, yeah, I can see them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so everyone, this is Kathy Behrens. Um, I was telling you about a few minutes ago, we're going to answer some mediumship questions, tell you about the services we offer. We do have a Facebook live event coming up October 21st with free mini readings. So if you follow messages from Spirit on Facebook, you can follow me there too. Um, and Wendy will be joining us for that as well. Wendy D'Angelo. And then on November 4th, we have three mediums, two guaranteed readings, and one great price on Zoom. And there's only a few spot, spots left. You can book on um, Kathy Barron's 
dot com or peacefulnickthemedium.com. Mine link, mine's linked in my bio. Kathy, I'm assuming yours is too. Um, I don't know if it's in my um, TikTok bio yet, but it's on my website under the events. Okay. So kathybarons.com, just click on the events um, option and it's right there. You know, what's weird is I can't write comments anymore. Like I can't type it in. I used to be able to like type in comments on TikTok and I can't anymore. Uh, let me just try That's it. That's weird. I was going to type your website in. Yep, I can. Okay, awesome. Yeah, it doesn't let the host, I guess, weirdly. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Okay. It's always an experiment. Oh, I, I have to click this button on the side now and now I can put comment. Are you typing yours in? I'm typing yours in. <laughs> oh, I was going to Okay, I'll type yours in. Yeah. I typed mine in already. So. Oh, oh, okay. Then I won't type anything. So if anyone has any questions, both of us do private readings. Um, and those are on our website. I actually have a coupon code right now for 50% off all readings. If you want a one-on-one -on -one private reading, it's capital FALL, F-A-L-L, 50. And you'll get 50% off fully 50% off um, of a reading. Hi, Mindful Mandy. Hi, hello there, Sunshine. Hello, hello. And we are going to, you know, just be answering questions. So if you guys have mediumship questions or how to find your spirit guide, um, put those in the chat. Hi, Mandy. It's so nice to see you. Um, so we're just now getting started. And Kathy, Fill us in on what's what's going on on your end. I'm going to make you the big picture now. Oh, you don't have to make me the big picture. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see it. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. My name is Kathy Behrens. I'm a certified evidential medium and animal communicator. Um, I work with Peaceful Nick a lot. Um, we went to classes together. So um, we are trying to get me to a thousand followers so I can go live and do readings with her where you can actually see me. Um, but this is awesome that you can hear me. So I'm excited to do some mini readings for you guys today. Hi, Sarah. Um, I also have some specials going on tomorrow. I have, I think, three spots left where I'm doing mini 10 minute readings, private readings, $35. Um, I think I have, uh, like I said, three spots left. And I did that in an effort because I am booked until the middle of November. So I opened one day to give these mini readings to people who can't um, always afford a full private reading. This gives you the benefit of having a chance at getting a private reading at a reduced price. And I'll tell you that information comes in no matter if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, your loved ones will connect. So um, you can book a mini reading tomorrow on my website, kathybarons.com. It's $35, it's 10 minutes. Um, but like I said, you will get information, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, spirit knows. So um, yeah, there's and like it, three spots left, I think. And it's Kathy, K-A-T-H-I, yes. B-E-H-R-E-N-S.com. Oh, you, you almost got it right. Uh, E-H-R-E-N-S. Oh, what did I? Oh, sorry. I think <laughs> I added little, an extra letter, but that's okay. I've been a little, <laughs> I worked about 18 hours yesterday, so I've been a little oh, that's, droopy. We I had, um, in, we had back to school in, night, so I was there till nine o'clock last night. So that oh. was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's too long. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. That's why I took today off because I couldn't, there's no way. Um, okay, so yes, well, Sarah, it is nice, but Kathy helps me out on other platforms because, hello, Wounded Wound Warrior, um, because she has a lot on Facebook, and so she, so when we go live over there, it helps me out, so we kind of, you know, go back and forth and try to help each other. It's interesting how the different platforms are, you know, you get, you just get lucky. Like, I feel like I got lucky and got a whole bunch of 
followers on TikTok and then just kind of plateaued. Um, you know, TikTok's weird. Kathy has a lot on Facebook, so we go back and forth and try to share the share the love with everybody and help heal everyone. Um, let's see. Any questions about? Yeah, I'd love mediumship. to answer any questions you guys have about mediumship or. Um, you know, I love to answer questions about animal communication and connecting with your animals and spirit, or even connecting with your living animals. So, um, type some questions in. Kathy, while we're waiting, I heard a term that I had never heard before, but it's something I was doing. And the uh, medium was saying, yes, this is a good thing. And they call it dial up mediumship. I never heard that term used before. Right. Um, and it's like, because I felt bad when I was do lives before I would say, okay, first name and relationship. Mm -hmm. And then I would do these like quick little couple of minute readings. And then some other people were like, oh, maybe you shouldn't do that. And then I felt really bad about it. And I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. And then these other mediums were like, oh yeah, we should totally do, it's fine to do that. And so now I feel like maybe we should do that again. Um, <laughs> Um, so, do, you, do you want to do a reading for someone who I know is on here? It's if I tell you their name. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm being like spotlighted here. No, no, no. Well, I, well, <laughs> I know this. I'm too close to this person. That's why. Well, if you're asking me about what I think about dial up, yeah. Um, it's a term that I know um, some people that we went to went through classes with. Um, I call it direct reading. So I just I personally will ask just for the first name of the person in spirit. I don't need a relationship or anything else. I just like to connect with, with a first name. Mm -hmm. So I do. I call it direct reading. Some people call it dial up. I don't think there's a problem with it, especially if you're giving evidence and um, you're the person that you're with and could take all the information that you're giving. I don't see a problem with it. Some other mediums might not agree, but. Um, Bobby Ann, who's a medium, she says three years ago, she got blasted for doing readings on here and now everyone is doing it. Yeah, I noticed like every time I turn on TikTok, there's like every other thing I see is a medium doing live readings. Mm -hmm. There's just yeah. so many more. Hi, Kathy. Um, she says, happy to be here and hope those who need to hear do. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, Ashton says, I see a lot of mediums also. Yeah, they well, must have. Yeah, and I would caution you just um, when you when people call themselves a medium, just I would just caution you and to do your research before you actually book something or spend your money or invest your, um, you know, emotions into something. I would definitely uh, research the mediums um, that you use and you select. Yeah, actually, I just posted a video about that. I don't know, yesterday or today about, you know, use your discernment. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. there's a lot of people, I get a lot of clients who say they've been scammed by mediums. And I actually had a client book a reading the other day and I sent, you know, the email, blah, blah, blah. And she replied, I hope you're real. Oh, that's true. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I am definitely real. <laughs> and I will see you Saturday, you know. So it make it hurts my heart because so many people, um, you get scammed. Ashton says, I watch Kathy and Wendy my second time catching one with Nick. Well, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we, we they do a lot. Yeah. We all take turns doing lives together. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, so let me, I, I'm happy to do a reading, but let me warm up a little bit before I take your request, Nick. Okay. No problem. Yeah. I know that's why I like to do a little question and answer first to yes. get spirit kind of coming through and I'm not feeling that great still since last week. Um, so I'm not, I don't even know if I'm with it enough. 
Um, and Annie says there, there are so many that imitate. Yeah, there's a lot of phonies. Um, yeah, unfortunately. I can, I, I think. I think there's a lot of people that are in it for the right reasons that maybe just aren't um, developed enough or, you know, so I would, like you said before, just use your discernment. Um, don't give a lot, don't give money to people that aren't giving real evidence. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're watching a live and they're just, so here's my thing. I'll go on TikTok and I'll watch mediums, quote unquote, do lives. They're eating, mm -hmm. they're smoking, mm -hmm. you know, they're not, they're not connected to spirit. They're distracted. They're playing music. They're telling you tap, 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 tap the screen. When we're connecting to spirit, that's when I'm connecting to spirit, that's all I am connecting to. I don't, you know, I can't eat, I can't drink, I can't, you know, I can't do all these other things. So um, just pay attention to how and what the information they're giving. Like I've seen people that are just like, they'll give one or two word answers. Like, um, I see healing, I mm -hmm. see the color blue, you know? And then the people, you know, that they're, giving a reading to are actually telling them, oh, yes, I had a blue car. Oh, yes, I'm healing from, you know, the passing of my loved one. So when Peaceful Nick and I do readings, we just ask that you say yes, no, maybe, I don't know. We don't want you to give us the information. We want spirit to give us the information. So just also pay attention, you know, when you're watching um, People on TikTok or any other platform, are they actually are the mediums actually giving you the information or are you know, are they taking the information from you? So exactly. yes, I agree to all of that. And it's sad when I had a student who was in my intermediate class and he wanted to start doing readings, and I'm like, you're definitely not ready yet. Don't mm -hmm. do it. Because he wasn't developed enough to be reliable consistently. Um, so I'm still working with him on some of those things. You have to be developed to a certain degree. Your teacher will know. Um, I did not start doing readings until my teacher told me to, that it was okay because I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want right. to do something that's going to hurt anybody. Well, and if you do, you know, if you're practicing, that's great. Tell people you're practicing. Yes. Don't charge people. Don't take donations. Just say you're practicing, you know. I'm happy to practice on you. That, I mean, we all need, like all mediums need practice, and that's how we develop is through practice. But those that are charging, like, you know, $40 for 15 minutes on a TikTok, and they're giving you, like, two pieces of information and then eating and then, you know, playing music or distracted or saying, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, those things are just like, those things make me upset because I feel like people are being taken advantage of then. Yeah, it's not professional just to start with. And then, yeah, they're definitely, it does more harm than good. And Sarah says they do that all the time. Yeah, we've seen it. <laughs> We have seen right. it. Right. Well, yeah, um, I'm happy to uh, do some readings. Um, I would like some people to, let's see, if you just want to put the first name of a loved one in the chat that you'd like to connect with, I'm happy to. Um, okay, we have a, a couple. I want to see Wounded Womb Warrior, if she's still here. Um, and then she was first, and then someone else asked to hear from Ricky. Rebecca asked to hear from Ricky. So, um, well, wounded, the, wounded Womb Warrior, her real name is Holly. Okay. Um, so, Nick, how I, how I do it is I just kind of scroll through, and whoever, oh, spirit, okay. oh. whoever spirit kind of leads me to is who I go to. Okay. Um, so, Does that's how I do it. So, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You can see I them. Do. I forgot you could see them. Um, I just kind of scroll through and, and see where spirit leads me. So T.R. Reed wants to connect with Jeff. T.R. Reed. 
What is your first name? Um, just so I, know, I don't call you T.R. Reed. Just type it in. What's your first name? Tammy. Okay, thank you. Okay, just give me one second. Um, and I'm going to start to bring through some information. Um, just let me know yes, no, maybe in the chat if you understand what I'm bringing through. So as I'm connecting um, to the to the spirit world and um, asking Jeff to come forward, would you understand him to be a fairly, uh, like, I feel like I'm kind of tall and skinny and... Um, Someone like want to call me like awkward. I don't know if you just if you understand um, that information, Tammy, with Jeff. Um, I also want to say that he has a very nice personality. He's very polite as well. So let me know if you understand that information with with Jeff. Um, yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, I also want to talk about his transition because he does make me feel that this is very sudden and there's almost this feeling like we didn't get to say goodbye um, or you feel like you didn't get enough time at the end. So do you understand that um, with Jeff's transition being um, very unexpected, untimely is what I'm feeling. Let me know if you understand that, Tammy. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> and do you understand this feel? There's this feeling of I need to apologize because we didn't get to say goodbye. Um, and this, there's this feeling like I need you to understand that um, that's okay because there's this feeling like going over and over in your mind, like. I wish I could have been there. I wish I could have been there. Do you understand that, Tammy? Okay, thank you. So, um, when I'm asking about the relationship, would you understand this to be your husband? There's just a lot of love there, and it does make me feel like um, I just know there's a lot of love there. So you understand this to be your husband, Tammy? And I no. know there's a yes, but I don't know if that's a yes from before. No, it's new. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I just want to say that there is so much love there. Um, okay. There's this feeling of we were soulmates. So I do know that, um, it was a very intense, deep love. So, um, know that that love continues on. Okay, Tammy. So um, so he does want me to talk about what you have, um, what you have done to honor him because he just wants you to know yes you miss him so much he just wants you to know that um he's very aware of what you do to honor him so let me just i want him to give me what you are doing or what you did to honor him because he wants you to know that he's there and watching and seeing these things okay he shows me a picture so it, i don't know if you have a enlarged a picture but it's like he knows that this picture is so prominent in your home and, and it feels like you enlarged it. Okay. Do you understand this, Tammy? Um, with a photograph or there's just some, yeah, it does make me feel like this is a photograph that's very prominent in your home. Okay, thank yes. you. So he just wants you to know that he's very aware that you've done this to honor him. Um, 
I also need to talk about the children. So I do know that you have children together. So I, um, and he wants to say that he's keeping an eye out and watching over them as well. So I do hope you understand with the children how he would be keeping an eye out on them as well. Um, okay. And one, um, Um, one of the, um, he just makes me feel one keeps saying daddy, daddy, daddy. So he does make me feel like there's a younger one that keeps on saying his name. Like they see, they see him, they see him. So to understand why the younger one, we keep saying daddy, 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 I see daddy. So, um, okay. He just wants you to know that. Yes, that is him. Okay. Yes, that is him. Do you understand the younger, because he just makes you feel it's the youngest one that sees him and just keeps saying, Daddy, I see him. Mm. Oh, your grandson. Okay, perfect. Do you understand, like, always saying, like, I see him, I see him. Like, he just keeps saying, I see him. So he wants you to know that um, I see him. He's three. And do you understand him? Because he's talking about him. He's talking about him. And he's really needing you to know that, yes, that is me. That is me that he is seeing. He talks about him all the time. Perfect. Thank you. So and that just that just gave me chills. I hope you felt that, too, that, like, goosebump feeling, because that's just spirit for me confirming what I what I'm receiving and what you're getting is, in fact, what he's trying to get across, that, yes, he's with you. So, um I hope you felt those um, goosebumps. Okay. And let me just, I always like to close and ask spirit um, if they're sending you a sign or what signs to watch for. Um, so he's kind of funny because he's bringing me to the car and he's saying that he likes to mess around with the things in the car. So pay attention because he makes me feel like the radio will be off or the radio blinks or like a blinker will go on or lights will go on that aren't supposed to go on, but he's really making me feel like that's where he gets your attention is when you're in the car. So I do hope you understand that. If not, please pay attention um, while you're in the car, like the music playing going on and off or the lights, um, like on the dash going on and off. Um, I don't know. He could even have been a mechanic because he's just laughing about the car. So I do hope you understand that information, Tammy, and I um, thank you for working with me. Um, and I leave you with all of his love, Tammy. Thank you so much. She said, you are so right. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Um, yes, and if you guys want to book a, a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kathybehrens.com, K-A-T-H-I-B-E-H-R-E-N-S.com. I have a couple spots open for tomorrow, 10-minute mini readings, um, $35. Otherwise, I think I'm booked until the middle of November. That's wonderful. Um Beautiful reading. Can I, is Pen Dawn still here? Because um, I believe I'm with Pen Dawn. Okay, so your, I believe this is for you, but just I want everybody to know as a disclaimer, sometimes when there's a lot of people on here, the evidence I'm getting may be for you and somebody else or for somebody else and they're just bullying their way through. Sometimes they do that. <laughs> so that's just my little disclaimer. Um, your mom is Brenda, you said, and would you understand, was she a larger woman? And not to be offensive, but she's show, showing me that. Okay, thank you. Um, and she showed me hopefully this is still i'm with you um she showed me this whole scenario of having something wrong with her knee or leg that she couldn't exercise as much and then it just kind of got out of control um do you understand that as well 
something happened to her knee or leg and she couldn't. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Also, she's talking about, um, she, I heard congestive heart failure, but to me that could be a suite of things that happened um, because of the weight gain due to the injury. And would you understand that she had problems cardiovascularly? And I'm just waiting for the, the comments to load. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, she wanted me to tell you that she, the reason why she told me about her injury was, or her problem with her knee or leg is because when I was, when she came through, when I read her name, um, she said she was running in spirit. She's running, she's exercising like crazy and she's free to run and she's able to run. And she wanted me to tell you that she can exercise now and be healthy. I know in spirit that we don't really have bodies, but she just was showing me that, love that. Awesome. And she wants you to know, um, she's coming through with a message and she's saying, um, thank you and she's writing it backwards so sometimes to me that indicates ambidextrousness or left-handedness um but she's saying thank you for taking care of everything she's like thank you and it's like right she's writing it out um why it's backwards that just could be my brain but when i see that it's usually somebody with a different handedness um, she's like, thank you for taking care of everything. And did you do something different with your hair? Or you're thinking about doing something different with your hair? She had me drawing out hair. And she's, she's talking about the hair, the hairdo. Yes, you cut some off. Okay, so that is your mom's way of coming through to tell you, I see what's happening in your life. Um, I'm there with you. I'm around you. She's free and happy and she's running around spirit <laughs> like crazy. Um, and she's like, I'm not even breathing heavy. <laughs> so <laughs> she's very, very happy. And um, she came through very clear and she's like, that's it. I gave my message, I gotta go. And she's like sprinting off. So just know she's, it's like she's speeding around. She's coming to see you. She's going over here. She's going over there. Um, you are very welcome. You are so well loved. And thank you so much for allowing me to um, connect with your mother. What a lovely, lovely soul she is. Thank you. And for me, um, I have, oh, sorry, Kathy, I have, a, just to remind everybody, I have a 50% off coupon, FALL, F-A-L-L, five zero. You can book on my website. Um, any, if you book before September 30th for any future date, oh my God, Spirit is screaming in my ear, for any future date, um, you still get 50% off. So. You can book on my website. Kathy and I will be going live on Facebook with Wendy October 21st and November 4th. We're doing a Zoom breakout room session, um, three mediums, two guaranteed readings, one great price. There's very few spaces left. You can book on my website or Kathy's website. Thank you. Nicole, I just wanted to say that was awesome. I love how spirit validates things like how, like you just cut your hair, you know, it's like you changed your hair. That is just like awesome evidence that they know and they see like what, what we're doing and you know, so that's cool. It is and awesome said, to know they're watching. Yeah. <laughs> and they're around. You said you have spirits screaming in your ear. So if you want to go, go, go for it. I, it I, know. I think this may be the mom still. She's just saying I'm here. <laughs> So, so okay. go ahead. You can take you can take a turn. 
Um, okay, so if everybody um, that's here could just put the first name only of the person you would like to connect with. Um, I'll just kind of scroll through and whoever um, spirit guides me to. Um, oh. I just saw somebody say Amanda. Where is that? That name just stuck out. Amanda. Where'd that go? Did I make it up? I'm looking. Maybe I made it up. I thought I saw Amanda. Alexandra. Oh my God, is there an Amanda here? Why am I? I see absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anybody here that has an Amanda in spirit? Why I just felt like I need to say Amanda. I don't think so. Hmm. It's interesting. I just keep hearing Amanda. All right, let me just go through here. Mm -hmm. um, It goes so fast, like it moves every time somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll and I keep hitting buttons that I'm not supposed to, you know, I'm not very good at this. Yeah, <laughs> it's a learning curve for all of us. <laughs> at least I haven't turned myself off this time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, okay, let me just see here. There was somebody that. Kathy says, I have Ananda. Am I saying that right, Kathy? Ananda? And is that who you want to connect with? Is that who you wanted to connect with, Kathy? Is Ananda? Yes. She says yes. I know she says yes, but I think that's if I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure that is this who you wanted to connect with? Just let me know yes or no, Kathy, if this is who you wanted to connect with. That is not, I was looking for Helen, but um, well, I do feel like I have this, I have, I have to give you a message from Ananda um, because like I thought I was hearing Amanda, but it's close enough and I'm going to take that as Spirit's way of saying, uh, but I need to give this message um, because there's this feeling of, she has a sharp personality, like a, um, and it's like, I need to get this message across and I need to say it now. And I don't have, I don't know when um, I'm going to have this opportunity again. So do you understand that with her, Ananda's personality, Kathy? Okay, thank you. So she just, I need to get this message across and she just needs to say, um, so she's also a little bit sarcastic, a little bit funny at the same time, because she's like, listen, I need people to know I'm okay. Um, I need people to know that um, she's really um, happy about the recipes being passed down. So you understand she's like, I, I want people to know that my legacy, I'm, I understand my legacy lives on through these recipes. Uh, she, I don't know why she's very um, happy about her recipes. Um, she's also saying, nobody will ever forget about me. Okay, you understand. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, so she's just wanting to say, I'm very present. So I am very aware of what you all are doing. And um, <laughs> thank you so much for honoring me. Um, okay. And don't. 
And she's like, don't stop. And she's like, there's this message here that, um, I don't know if you're going through things. She just makes me feel like some things are happening and don't stop, keep going. You're going to get through this. Um, just like her personality, don't stop. You're going to get through this. So I just need to get this message out to you from Ananda that um, whatever is happening right now in your life, she needs you to understand that you will get through it. Don't stop. Um, just like she would never give up. She doesn't want you to either. Um, and she does want to give you a kiss and say, I, I always loved you. I always loved you. So um, I hope you understand that, Kathy. Um, and thank you for letting me work with you. I just, I had to, to go with it because I kept, Spirit kept saying her name over and over. So um, thank you so much for letting me work with you and um, allowing me to give you that message from Ananda. Isn't that crazy how spirit works, Nicole? Like, yeah. it's like I just, yeah. I know it wasn't who you wanted to connect with, but this is who spirit decided. This is who you're gonna hear from, right? Because this yeah. is what you need to hear. You saw that with your eyes and you knew it, <laughs> even <laughs> though it wasn't really there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is wonderful. I love when that happens. Um, I would like, if you don't mind, could I go to Christy for Pete? Pete for Christy. Um, and while Christy, are you still here? Let me know if you want to talk about your mini reading. She, is, she, she, oh, just, okay. she said, oh my God, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Christy, I believe I have Pete here with me and I would like to ask you if you would understand he is he's like partially he said partially like that taking responsibility for his passing like it was sort of partially his fault would you understand why he would say that If you don't mind, if you don't want to answer yet, maybe. Okay. So it's so funny that you say diet wise, because I was getting this whole scenario in my head about him um, having some type of either body dysmorphia or food addiction or something along those lines. Um, and some type of addictive personality around that and maybe other types of addictions. Would you understand that with him? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, and now he's talking about, and I don't want to get banned from TikTok. So, um, leafy green substances and not lettuce. Uh, <laughs> so if you know what I mean, wink, wink. Um, <laughs> Stephanie Ann knows what I mean. <laughs> um, and I hear music. LOL, I'm not sure about that. Okay. <laughs> um, it was the best way I could describe it. Um, what he, I hear very, I have, I hear loud music. Did he enjoy loud music or have something to do with music? He's showing me or I'm hearing. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I hear, oh, it's like, it's making me, I'm older. So I get it. I love music. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I'm getting older. And so I have less tolerance for it. It for any amount of time. So I'm like, all right, turn it down. That's how I feel like I want to say, turn it down. Um, okay. He's saying, he's saying, sorry, I left you the way I did. Sorry, I left you the way I did. Sorry, I left you the way I did. He's apologizing. He wants you to know he's sorry because he's, he's like, he was, 
he's coming through like mixed up, like there's a lot of static in my head. He, he had a lot going on in his mind that he was not able to sort things out. Um, did, do you understand, he's talking about a child. Did he have a child he left behind? Or do you have a, he's talking about this child. I, okay, and he would have been close to the child, I presume. I feel like it's a, a, a boy. I hate saying that because I have like reverse psychic abilities. Um, is this child a boy? Oh, it's a girl. Okay, well, see, I knew, I knew it. All right. Um, does your daughter have a boy's name for the middle name? Does your daughter have his name as a middle name or some homage to him in, in her name? Hold on, I have to block somebody. Oh, maybe not. Pardon? I was going to try to do it, but I don't think oh. I can. Oh, I don't know where. Christy. Her middle name is close to my grandma's name, who was his wife. Okay. So it is, all right. Well, that's kind of a stretch, but... They were talking, he was talking about the name, but he keeps telling me about this boy. This boy, he keeps saying, he's making me scribble it relentlessly. So, all right. All right, now he's talking about, um, having i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up i promise i'm sorry kathy it's just it took a while okay um is there did did pete have type 2 diabetes or some type of um insulin regulation problem because now i'm feeling like my fingers and toes are going numb I'm sorry, everybody, the comments, you sound like you're connecting to my other grandfather. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens. We get um, a blend. It happens like when I get readings and my brother-in-law and father-in-law come through, they come through together and we call that a blend. So that is very common. Um, and I'm sorry, did, did the, did your other grandfather have a, a son that's a boy? Because he keeps talking about a boy, a boy, a boy, a boy, and keeps repeating it over and over again. And his middle name is my brother's middle name. Okay. Okay. That clears it up. Thank you. I'm sorry about that blend, Christy. It's hard sometimes to, um, pull them apart on these even in a regular reading, especially on a live. Okay. He always comes through. <laughs> okay. Well, that may, he just pushed the, uh, he just pushed Pete right out of the way. Well, just know that they are watching um, what's happening in your lives. And I feel like, I don't know if they would have known each other in life, but they sure hang out together in spirit. Um, know that you're loved your family is is loved and thank you for allowing me to connect even though it was a little staticky um and know that you are always you know going to be guided by your family members in spirit and thank you for allowing me to connect you're very welcome so um uh, nick also, you know, sometimes when they blend, I feel like it's because they both have a message, you know, so it's just their way of getting that message um, across to you. And it could be the same message, but they both want to be acknowledged. So um, 
Good point. I, Good point. I love that. I love that. I got um, so discombobulated because it was a blend. It was like, oh, sorry. Um, so I tried to get rid of that that negative person, but I don't I don't think I can. So I, don't I know. blocked him when I saw oh, him. Yeah. Up. Okay. yeah. Um, so I just kept seeing um, on here, somebody kept putting Ricky, 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 mm -hmm. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. So um, let me see. Who was that? Rebecca Ayers. Okay. Rebecca. Um, so I kept seeing this, you know, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky going by. And um, as I was connecting, I'm like, he just made me feel like he was like this proud Southern man. Like, I don't know. I just kept feeling like I was, I, uh, he's very proud Southern. He also made me feel like tattoos and motorcycles. So do you understand this with Ricky? Um, this pride and the Southernness and, and I'm talking about Southern United States. <laughs> um, and I'm talking like tattoos and motorcycles. Do you understand this, um, yes. Rebecca? Yes. That's him. Okay. Um, okay. So I do need to talk, talk about um, his transition and he really wants to apologize. Um, and he comes through saying, I'm sorry. So and he's also wanting me to talk about taking responsibility. So I hope you understand why he would be coming through today to say, I'm sorry. And um, why he'd want you to know that he is taking responsibility. Okay. Yeah, okay. And he is very upfront. He's very like, um, like when you would, he was very direct. He would tell you like it is. He's just making me feel like, you know, like, and I want to swear. And I, he should have never left me. Oh, I'm sorry. And I just want to say, like, he would swear. He would tell you like it is because he's just making me feel like this is his personality. Like, and then just a flip, a, a switch flipped is what he makes you feel like. This was just so unexpected. Okay. Um, and he's like, listen, you know, I loved you. So don't ever doubt that. He's saying, stop doubting that. I loved you. I love you. I love you. You know, I said loved and he's like correcting me and he's like, love. So he loves you. Okay. So just know that he loves you. So I don't even think I define this, but I do feel like this is your husband. Do you understand this is your husband, Rebecca? Yes. Okay. Thank you. He also makes you feel you've been traveling a lot and he makes me feel like it's not necessary. I don't know what that means, but he's just saying you don't have to travel a lot. You don't have to do these things. It, it's like, I, if you want to move, just move. So I hope you understand why he's saying this. Um, if you want to move, just move, do it. It's okay. So this is his message to you. I love you. And it's okay. If you want to move, move. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you with all of his love and his message of you need to make yourself happy. So if moving and less travel makes you happy, then do it. Do it. Okay. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for letting me work with you and um, your husband, Ricky. Because I wanted away from the house, it happened at, so he will still be with me when I move. Yes. Of course. Of course he will. Thank you, Rebecca. Beautiful, Kathy. I'm going to look through the list if you want to um, talk about your readings, your oh. mini readings. Sure. So um, I don't know if any of them have booked 
so far since um, we've been on here, but I had like three left for tomorrow. I opened up my schedule because I am booked until the middle of November. There might be a couple here and there, but um, tomorrow I have a couple spots open for um, private mini sessions. So they're 10 minute sessions um, via Zoom, um, $35. And I think I have a few spots left um, you can go to my website, kathybarons.com, um, $35 only. Um, otherwise, I'm always going live on my Facebook page, which is Messages with, Messages from Spirit with Kathy Behrens. Um, So make sure you're following that page. You'll be able to, you'll get notifications when I go live. I do a lot of um, free readings there. Um, uh, we have an event on a free reading event on October 21st. I have to remember all these dates. October 21st. I cheated. I have a note on my desk. <laughs> you know, I just, I did a live on Sunday in one of the groups I'm in and I, I have a, I have, yeah, I have a piece of paper right here. So, so yes, September 21st, um, or October 21st, I'm sorry. Uh, is that a Saturday? Yes, a Saturday. We'll be on Facebook Live. I'm sorry, I'm not really prepared here. No, it's okay. Facebook Live, October 21st, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, free mini readings. Um, that includes our other great friend, um, yeah. mm -hmm. Wendy D'Angelo. Yep. Um, let's see. Yep. And then. We are doing, we are hosting our event on Saturday, November 4th. So there'll be the three of us, Wendy, myself, and Peaceful Nick. We're going to be doing, um, it's kind of different. We're going to be doing like breakout rooms. Everybody's guaranteed two readings um, by two different mediums. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, you can find more information on either of our websites about that. And I think that's all I have. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I hope um, to see those get the uh, November 4th get booked up because there's just a couple of seats left. So um, if you're going to join that, do that soon because we're booking like crazy on that and it's limited seating. Okay. Um, thank you, Kathy. Let's see. I believe I'm with one of two people. Oh. I think I'm with Heather for Jacob. If Heather's still here. Yes, hi Heather. Um, I don't know if this is <laughs> because of Jacob's ladder, but all I keep hearing is Jacob's ladder, 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 ladder. Would you understand why he's showing me a ladder did he work with ladders? Was he a painter? Like he keeps showing me a ladder or have I just totally lost the, the, the thread here? He keeps showing me a ladder. All right. <clears throat> Angel says maybe they're mad at me. Nobody's mad at you. I don't maybe, maybe his name. Does his name have something to do with a ladder? Is that what you mean? Okay, so while I wait for that, um, I don't know, he's talking about falling. Um, did he have, would you understand he had some type of fall that caused an injury in his life? There was a movie. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. He's talking about falling and now I, he's having me draw like mountains or hills, a cliff. Do you understand that? I'm not sure if that last yes came in. What before or after I said that? I have a little bit of a delay, so I, I'm lost. <laughs> okay. Oh, there. I don't know. Okay. 
but there was a fall at some point. Okay. Um, just give me just a second. He's talk. He's also showing me water. Um, did he like being by the water or live by the water? Would you understand that? He's talking about water. The worst part of doing lives is waiting for. Um, the comments to load because some sometimes on certain platforms it can take forever for the comments to load um you did like it do you have a photo of yourself with jacob in front of like a sunset or something He's showing me a picture with a sunset and maybe a lake in the back. He's showing me this photo. Your father's house was on water. Okay. Do you know about this photo he's showing me? And the other thing, the greatest thing about one-on-one -on -one readings is the instant back and forth. <laughs> So if anybody's interested in one-on-one -on -one readings, you can book them on either of our websites. I have a coupon now fall 50 for 50 percent off anything you book by september okay you're sure there was one all right so um i don't know so there's this another i don't know why this keeps coming through i have this young boy coming through again Do you understand why he's showing me a young boy? It just looks like a, I mean, they're not giving me an age. Just young. Is Jacob your son or do you have a son? I'm just doodling. The things they're showing me. My nephew has a boy with my son's name. Okay. He's two. Okay. All right. So watch out for your nephew's son to, um, and I'm not sure if you are like around them a lot, but he may be speaking to the spirits that aren't there in the living world. Um, so see if you can find out. He too may be a little young to be um, completely verbal with full sentences. But maybe by the time he's three or four, keep an eye out because that this is what Jacob's showing me. This young boy talking to spirit. Um, seeing people who aren't there, um, the toys are going off. So if you could check on that um, and see if you can find out if that's happening, you can email me and let me know. Um, Peaceful Nick, the medium at gmail.com, N I K is Nick. I would love to know that. Just know that your loved ones are um, always around you and always surrounding you. Now they're showing me a rainbow. 
um, this rainbow seems significant for some reason. So know that, let me know if you understand the rainbow. Um, know that your loved ones are always surrounding you with peace and love and guidance. And if you understand the rainbow, let me know, because he's like insistent on this rainbow. I don't know if it's something you just recently took a picture of or some special thing for that significant. Um, let me know if you understand that. And thank you, Heather, for allowing me. And I'd like to know about the fall. If you can. Yes, you do understand. Okay, thank you very much, um, Heather. And I appreciate you allowing me to work with Jacob and you. He broke his hip. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. That was awesome. Oh, well, thank you. Love, you know, I just love the different. Also, I love the different types of evidence our, our loved ones in spirit give. Like, it's just, oh, yeah. Like, you instantly know. Yep, that's my loved one. So, um. Yeah, um, um, T.R. Reed, I think you read earlier. This, These are recorded, and often I put them on YouTube later. I don't know how the recording is going to look this time because this is a new update on TikTok. So usually I put it on YouTube. If you want me to snip it and send you your part, you can email me or Kathy, and I can – it has to, like, upload on the replay platform. Um, but you can email either one of us and I will forward it if you email Kathy. But Kathy, I have I have an appointment coming up sure. um, soon and I have to make dinner first. Yes, so, of course. Um, yeah, I and, just I want to say thank you so much to you for inviting me to join you on your TikTok. So that's so awesome. Hopefully sooner than later I'll get to that you know, infinite, infinite, infamous, a uh, thousand mark. Um, but until then you can find me on Facebook you can, and <laughs> um, oh, I was just sorry. I just got, do you tune in and then reach out to the loved one whose spirit has come through? Well, thank you, Annie. Sorry. That caught my um, CJS way. So, um, that's what we were doing. We were just kind of going through doing spirit guided, um, in the comments. Um, well, I don't know if that's really spirit guided. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, I, I'm not sure sometimes when people say spirit guided, I call it that, but I'm not really, I think maybe there's some variation in what that actually means. Yeah. I do like you do. I see the name and the, you know, and then it just like they come to me and I'm like, I can't help who comes to me. Right. Yep. Or like I heard that name before. I'm like, I have to yeah. say this message, even though that name wasn't on here. I heard spirit say that name. So. Um, exactly. So I guess that's spirit guided, right? Because they're telling us who to pick, who to <laughs> connect with. Who we're yeah. drawn to. Exactly. Yeah. I mean. That's how I would, that's what I call it. Cause I don't know any other way to call it, any other thing else to call it. <laughs> I'm using the words that come to my mind. I don't know. <laughs> Spirit led maybe. Yeah, we're not sure. Spirit's leading us. That's all we know. Spirit's leading us. <laughs> um, so we have two events coming up October 21st on Facebook Live. Free mini readings, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern with uh, Kathy, myself, and Wendy D'Angelo, November 4th. We have a Zoom, limited seatings available, three mediums, um, two guaranteed readings, one great price. That is booking up quick. You can book on my website, peacefulnickthemedium.com, or Kathy's website, kathybarons.com. My stuff's all linked in my bio, or you can email me or Kathy. And um, I have a beginner's class coming up November 18th that's filling up intermediate and advanced. All of that's on my website's website. <laughs> I have gift cards. You can follow me on, subscribe to my YouTube, my Instagram, 
and here on TikTok. And um, Kathy, do you want to talk about any of your your mini readings and stuff? Um, I just want to know when we're going to do this again. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm doing my beginner's class Friday, and then Saturday I have readings and another class, another an individual student, and maybe Sunday while my husband's watching all the football games because my 49ers play tomorrow night so i don't really care who plays sunday <laughs> well let so. me know if you want let me know if you want to do this again on sunday okay i think i can probably carve out another hour hour and a half for a live on sunday that would be great and we got to get you to that thousand because we got to see your beautiful face on the full camera right. yeah right? yeah no, yes I just, my picture is so great <laughs> It's a great picture. It's beautiful. It was um, like 20 pounds ago. So. <laughs> uh, you're beautiful no matter what. Um, thank you, Mindful Medium and CJ's Way. Um, yes, I do have a couple of spaces in my beginner's class. Um, you can email me if you want more information about that. Um, Peaceful Nick, N-I-K, the medium at gmail.com. Any questions, you can email me about the classes. And I'll answer any questions you have. Anything else Kat, from you, Kathy? No, I'm good. Thank you. So I just appreciate you doing this for me and with me. So uh, I appreciate you so everything you do for me. And um, will you be posting about Sunday if you both do this again? Um, yeah, I'll probably have more time to make a, a live post if before then. We'll text Kathy and we'll decide on a time. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining us and I hope to see you all on Sunday. All right. Bye-bye guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.